Uh, so what does it take to start a systems integrator? This is a very popular question that people have asked me privately. So uh, in order to answer that, I'm going to tell a little bit of backstory. How did IntelliC integration get started? So IntelliC integration started almost six years ago when I was the manager of Texas operations for another integrator. I was hired by another integrator as a senior engineer to lead a really, really, actually the largest SCADA, pro largest SCADA project in the world. So I was, I was hired by another systems integrator based in Southern California to lead a team of engineers building the largest SCADA system in the world. And that's actually where I met Zach Scriven. Zach was one of the developers on that project. I met him when he was just a wee lad. I don't think he was even 21 at the time. And so I was the lead engineer on that project. It was the largest standalone SCADA system in the world built in ignition. Wide scaling project. At time, at the time, the technology didn't even, didn't even exist to be able to build the project that we built, but it had 40,000 different devices in the field. It covered five states, 14,000 sites, 40,000 PLCs and RTUs, 2,000 concurrent users, 11 million tags, all running in a single system. Built in in about 18 months, uh, there was a team of 19 developers total. I was the lead developer on that project and we ended up winning a Firebrand award for it. So yeah, the Gateway Area Network grew out of that project. We, we wrote the specification. We also wrote the specification for uh, Kepware's API. So uh, Kepware has a software API where you can configure Kep server through a RESTful or SOAP connection. That was, we wrote the specification as a function of that project. So as a result of that project, I was promoted to manager of Texas operations for this other company based in Southern California. And I built the business in, Cal in Texas, hired all the staff. About five years ago, they came out and you know the things got slow in California and they basically closed our office and took all the work back to California. About nine months before they did that, I created IntelliC integration. I was sitting out on the front lawn with my wife. I told her I had this vision for how a systems integrator could actually operate. It was a completely revolutionary way. I was talking to her a lot about the, the emerging technologies in IIoT, specifically related to serial networks and cellular networks and how we could improve throughput. The fact that the oil and gas industry, and oftentimes they're accepting a one pole every 15 minutes or one pole every 60 minutes for certain registers. And I knew that the technology existed even over those low bandwidth connections where you could bring thousands of tags every second if you wanted to. And so I talked to my wife about it and said, hey, I, I th I've got a better way and I want to try and do this. So I created the company and nine months later, accidentally, they forced they forced me out. I wanted to keep our team together, uh, the, all the people I had hired. So literally overnight, uh, we were essentially forced to to try and make it work. So we jumped in with both feet and uh, we've been in the black since day one. So fast forward five years, IntelliC integration is, we do the, the revenue of a company that's five times our size. Our model works, we know it works, and now we're here presenting to the rest of the community the benefits of taking the approach that we took. But the question is, I, I've gotten a lot of questions about what does it take to start a systems integrator? Well, I can explain to you, you know, you have to have a strategy for your business. You have to have technical expertise, obviously. You need to have a staff, you need to have a resource pool to draw from, you need to get insurance and you have to have lawyers and accountants and all that stuff. But honestly, what it really takes to, to start an SI and, and go into business for yourself, like a lot of rock stars end up doing, it takes a lot of balls. You just have to get off the couch and jump in with both feet, even when you don't know when the next, check's, next check is gonna come. That's the first thing. The second thing it takes is it takes vision. It, you have to have a vision for how your integrator should operate. And that vision needs to be your own. You need to be comfortable being lonely on the mountaintop. Being a visionary is incredibly lonely. More people are gonna tell you you're doing it wrong than there are people doing it right. And the only people who matter are those who are in the foxhole with you and your clients. Okay. Number four, it takes an unbelievable and unwavering commitment to success. Being an entrepreneur is, it's ungrateful, it is rewarding, it's exhausting. In many cases, it feels impossible. But the simple reality is that entrepreneurs are born, they're not made. You are either born with the faculties and the drive and the innate ability to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, or you weren't. And so the short answer, the short answer to what does it take to start your own SI business is just one step. You just got to take a step. You got to have a vision. You got to be committed to that vision. You have to expect there to be problems. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my entire business life. I own several other companies and II is, IntelliC is by far the most rewarding thing I've ever done because every day we are truly changing 
lives. As crazy as it sounds, we really are changing lives, uh, not just our employees and our partners, but our clients. I mean, we're fundamentally changing the way that they operate. We are, we are making them more competitive in the market, and there just aren't enough of us out there doing this. And so, you know, we've created this ecosystem. We foster this ecosystem. We've, we, we contribute to the community. If you look at my signature line in my email, it, it literally says that we take our role as a leader in the community very seriously a leader in the SI community very seriously. We don't see other integrators as competitors. We see them as colleagues. We see them as partners. And part of the series is centered around reaching out to those partners, finding those like-minded thinkers so that we can all figure out a way to work together to further our mission of helping our clients do more with less, saving and creating middle-class jobs in the US. So anyway, you just gotta be insane. That's all it takes. <laughs>